I have salutations. This is something awful, and this is that raging place I said I'd meet you at last time. Come back to Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. And we're gonna ride this platform up into the next area, which I have a feeling. Oh, this is here. Also, she's getting another. He's getting a. It's getting a cutscene. Makes me wonder if the night vision goggles automatically go on if you go back in there. Anyway, um. This part. Um. I wanna make sure I don't. Okay. I am totally. Barely going to live. Anyway, I'm in passage in here with a tribal. I mean, on one hand, I don't feel like I've missed any, and on the other hand, I feel like I've missed plenty. Please tell me that's the only giant lupus chasm in this, because, um, they're scary. Anyway, whoa. I could have gotten those with anyone technically, but I'm gonna get them with the correct person for them, I think. Unless that isn't the exit right there, which I'm. On one hand, I'm hoping it isn't because I, um. Don't feel like I was unthorough, but I. Okay, that is the end, um. So, how many tribals did I miss? I missed. Half the truck. I, I felt like I explored the underwater area quite under green area quite well. I guess I missed something before there or something. Either way, um, let's continue onwards. I know I ended that episode at a silly time. I am well aware. Anyway, yeah. I like how I was more accurate with the pistol than the sniper. Anyway, um, we're here. So you know what that means, um. Well, I'm going to save first, because no reason really, but, um, actually it's not going to give me up, is it? No. Um, interesting. Anyway, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be this one. Yes, it is. For once, it's actually somewhat close to where I am. Anyway, let's go in. Now that the dog is here, we can do something. some horrible sounds from upstairs for you. I'll have to edit them out. Anyway, um, yeah, Lupus, I, I guess he had to walk to his because they are in thirds, but his door wasn't in the third, so he gets a fancier cutscene. Then he just gets to sit down and scratch his back. Unless, I may be mistaken, but, um, no, this is the normal cutscene still. I think. Yes. Um, why am I being quiet anyway? Now that this one is doing it too. He seems upset by this. No. He's going into his Aru position. And he is using the same mysterious magic thing. Anyway, now something's gonna happen. Obviously. So you got all three characters here. This feels kind of important, doesn't it? Oh, controller, controller. <laughs> is that some? Oh, it's teleporter. Is that what it is? Um, we have Juno. Yeah, apparently this teleported us somewhere. Juno. Fire. Is this with Juno? I could have sworn this part wasn't with Juno.
Stop acting off, Juno. It's him, the big kahuna himself, the fashion maestro, Mizar. Looks like he has quite the mustache. Okay, that's not a mustache, but still, I'm going to imagine him having a mustache from now on. Anyway, we're preparing to fight him. He's, he's just like, no. He laughs at our attempts to fight him. For he... What is he doing? Throws this at us. Oh, Juno's dead. Again. <laughs> um. This is not how I remember this part going. By the way, he's not actually dead, I don't think. I don't know. Now he's going to leave. Like, I've done my job. No, I'm not dead. He's like, ah, you stunned me. And even though Juno wasn't the first one to get here, finally loot Vela, who took the long route. And Lupus get here. I like how Juno teleported in, they just took the elevator. <laughs> it's like, it's like, alright guys, let's go. Machine gun, try rocket, and um, I didn't see what his gun was. Anyway, we're going in. All three of us. Guns raised to the roof, except for Lopez, who's actually aiming. Anyway, into the darkness from where he, after Mizar. Can't stop all three of us, can he? This is a longer cutscene than I remember. Anyway. Mizar. Ready. He's like, alright. This is where I actually want to fight you. I'm not going to use that cheap attack that accomplishes nothing. Instead, I'm going to do this. Alright, he's readying another attack. He's going to block our entrance with this blue fire to the fight in the arena. We can't get by this blue fire, apparently. You can't shoot through it, but... Lupus is like, alright. This is my time to shine. Apparently, I can jump higher than the others. Totally not true in-game, but... He's just gonna fly over it, like you know you do. So, yeah, we get to fight Mizer with Lupus, which is why I wanted to get him here, decided to get here from last when Brad, knowing the game, decided to suggest it. Because originally I was gonna get Juno here last. Anyway, it's time. Does this restock me? Is my first question. The answer is absolutely not. So, um, maybe. Ow. Okay. Um, give me a moment. Um, do I just shoot him? I don't see where to shoot him yet. I'm just gonna keep shooting him. Because I actually know how this fight goes. Okay, um... Alright, can I untarget anything? Yes, I can! Alright, um... I should... Alright, I see what I have to do. I just have to target his face directly. Yeah, and if he does that, that means you hit him, I think. Is what this means to me. Anyway, he's actually not... That... Ow. 
Oh, I, I walked into the invisible wall at the edge of the map. Alright, you. You don't seem too hard yet. You seem kind of anticlimactic, actually. Okay, I saw that one too early. Although, gunk came out, so... Maybe I didn't. And, um, that's it, actually. He is angry. Apparently, we're all shooting at him now, and he's just like, ah. Apparently, we destroyed him. Why am I walking up to him? You know this is going to end well poorly. He's just like, no, my mustache is too fabulous for you. Even though it's not a mustache. You dare defy the rule of my czar. Insolent earth scum, you will regret this as you watch your home world torn asunder. So he's gonna go attack Earth, you know, the usual. Also, he's a spaceship. As you might have expected, this whole time Mizar is a spaceship. Hmm, random asteroid. I know what to do with this. He was the size of that asteroid it looked like in that cutscene. My friends, how can we ever thank you? Many would simply have ignored our plight, and yet your only reward is a sudden threat to your own world. The asteroid is heading straight for Earth. If you don't act to avert this crisis, the collision may well rid of us either, but at a terrible cost to your people. They just... They, the, 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 something they just won't get there in time. Um, we have a ship that may serve. Basically, our pods are not fast enough. But there are drawbacks. The ship belonged to our distant ancestors. It brought them to this galaxy ages ago. Then twelve parts have gone missing, scattered far and wide across nearby worlds. The final piece I myself still own. It is yours when all the tribes are free. Sorry but to be so mercenary, but if you collect all 12 parts, our flagship may take flight once again. The palace menu will record your pause menu will record your progress. One more thing. We can upgrade your armor too. Well, why can't you do this one? We'll even throw in a jetpack attachment, which you can charge on designated pads. For now, enough talk. You have much to do. The very best of luck to you. So now, Mizar is going to go try and blow up Earth. But we got the upgraded armor! So... Yeah. That was the thing, I, I knew that was a fake out fight by the way, I was like... I, I remember doing it first try last time. Anyway, we now get the armor upgrade. But yes, Jeff's gonna be a butt and make us rescue all the tribals to save our own people. Quite the guy there, Jeff. But yeah, the whole idea is our um, escape, our main ship is still heavily damaged, I believe. And so, um, first of all, why does Jeff have the ability to use Mizar's armor upgrade things? Um, like, I'm, I'm not even going to question it. I mean, like, what? I, it never occurred to me when I was young. Maybe, um, well, I don't know, Jeff has unusual powers. Maybe he's already taken over their, this palace. Yes, King Jeff's new palace. Oh, I the new vicious ruler of the world. King Jeff. Seriously, I think he stays here for the rest of the game. Anyway, we got the new armor, the ones that have been so lovingly spoiled by the title screen this whole time, which includes Cyborg Dog being in a tank, which I've never really liked, to be honest, but, um, it's better this way. So now we have the jetpack and the armor upgrade, which is pretty sweet. So now... comes collecting the ship parts. Are you gonna show me everyone, or just... Uh, Vetla doesn't look that much more armored. She still has bare legs, and then Lupus is in a freaking tank, because he's like, yeah, what's up? I don't know. Anyway, we have a lot to do, so... And so it shall begin. Now, 
Where shall I begin? With Vela, apparently. No, I'm, I'm, I'm... I, I'm not sure. I'm gonna end the episode here and then get back to you. This is something awful. I have Sino.